Greetings, this is Chad Trofgerbin, back for another Flash tutorial. And today, we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to animate a mouth to a voice. This is obviously useful when animating a cartoon, and you kind of want your cartoon to be more, you know, realistic, and kind of add that extra dynamic feel to the cartoon. It's a pretty easy thing to do, but it is pretty tedious, and there are a number of ways you can cr animate mouths to sync to voices. However, the method I'll be showing today is the one I use and what I find to be the easiest. This is more of an advanced tutorial, and so I'm going to assume that you have knowledge in some aspects of Flash, such as using the timeline and working with symbols. So, And with that, uh, let's begin. What I have here is actually a completed animation of someone talking, Christopher Walken, and I will play that and then we will try to recreate his mouth in another document. So I will play this right now. Say some words to my face! As you saw, uh, his mouth moves exactly to what the voice is saying, the words and all, and all the nuances, so it's pretty cool. So uh, let's try to uh, recreate this and show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to open up a new document, <clears throat> so we have some room to work. And I already have a mouth here, but what we're going to want to do is create a new symbol, and we're going to put our mouth poses in that symbol. So for right now, to kind of get this started, let's uh, go over to the pencil tool and uh, draw a simple line, and then <clears throat> kind of a closed mouth line, if you will. And then let's go up to our selection tool and go over to here and select the closed mouth line. And let's hit F8 and make sure it's a graphic. And then just name it like mouth poses or something like that. And then hit enter or OK. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I already have one done here, as you can see. So I'm just going to use that one as my example. So once you have your symbol created, double click on the symbol to go into it. And as you can see here, I already have a number of frames already created for this. And on these frames, these keyframes rather, I went through and I drew a number of different mouth poses that someone would actually be using when they're speaking. <clears throat> you know, everywhere everything from the ooh sound to the to the s sound to a closed mouth, maybe for m to you know the th sound to um, a mouth that's used for things in between, you know, to the F sound. So right now, go through and create, you know, about 14 keyframes in, in this layer, and just create different poses for this kind of stuff. F sounds, O sounds, you know, closed mouths, S sounds. You can even pause my video and go through and kind of use mine as a reference, because all the poses I have here, I actually use in every single one of my animated movies. And so everything I have here is very well suited, and I have all the poses covered. So, okay, once you have that down, we're going to click back and go out to scene one, or to stage, I should say. And now we are going to create another symbol. So we're basically going to have this symbol we just created within another symbol. So and this will become clear in a second. We're actually creating this symbol to, the symbol we're, we're about to create is gonna be the one that houses the animation for the voice we're gonna sync it to. So uh, make sure this, that your symbol you created is already selected, and hit F8, and we're gonna create a new symbol. Make sure it's a graphic, and uh, let's label it, well, my, he's, what I'm doing, he says, say some words to your face, so, Let's uh, just go ahead and name it that. <laughs> and uh, let's click OK. And now, as we can see down in our properties box, we have that symbol created. Say some words to my face. OK, well, let's go into this newly created symbol. To do that, double click on the symbol. And now we're inside it, and you can see we have a blank slate. And you can see right here, down here, we have the uh, symbol that we created beforehand so the mouth poses symbol. Okay, next we're going to want to bring in the voice that we want to sync this with. 
I already have mine in Flash for the sake of simplicity, but if you want, if you don't have yours in it yet, you can simply go up to File, Import, and Import to Library, and then just browse for your voice and then bring it into Flash. Once your voice is in Flash, you're going to go over to the timeline to create a new layer. Just click this icon, and then you're going to click on the first frame of your new layer, and then you're going to go down to the Properties box to the Sound drop-down menu, and select your voice. Okay, next you're going to want to expand the timeline to suit so that the whole voice is covered in the timeline. So uh, let's go out to frame 55 and let's right and uh, let's right click on it and insert frame. And as you can see, the voice does extend all the way to that frame. Actually, it's even a little longer, but that's okay. That's good. Now we're going to want to do the same for the actual mouth symbol. So go down to this to layer one, and then right click, insert frame, and there you go. Your mouth is present in all 55 frames of where the voice is, and that's what we want. Okay. Now let's go back to frame one on the mouth symbol, and uh, let's begin. Now remember all those poses you created. Well, this is where it's going to come in handy. If you click your mouth symbol and you come down here to the properties box make sure that it's selected on single frame um, because if you don't your poses are gonna play over and over and over or play once but we don't want them to play at all right not right now we just want it on a single frame okay and uh, let's begin I'll just kinda show you how this works let's play the first tiny bit chunk of this voice to see what pose we're going to want to use next. See? He kind of uses an S sound right around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that frame and then we're going to right click and then we're going to go down to insert keyframe. And so there we go. There's a keyframe right there. Keyframe obviously means change in the timeline. Once that's there, we're going to go down to the mouth, we're going to click that and now, this is where your poses come in handy, you're going to go down here and you're going to select the number you have of your pose for the S sound that you did. And in my case, it's frame 10. So you click, so you type in 10 and you hit enter, and there you go, you have your S sound. And if you go back up to the timeline and you go to frame 1, it's closed. Go to frame 3, it's doing the S sound. So uh, let's keep going here. Say right about here on the timeline he does the A sound so let's click that frame right click insert keyframe click the mouth go down to the properties box and let's and then type in the number of your A sound that you created in my case it's gonna be frame one so click that and there we go we have the A sound let's go back up to the top and play this again Say okay right about here we have the S sound Right click, insert keyframe, click the mouth, go down to properties, change it to the S sound. In my case, it's frame 10. Hit enter, there we go. <clears throat> Keep going. Say some. Right about here, we have the closed mouth sound. So insert the keyframe, click the mouth, go down here, find your closed mouth pose, hit enter. Keep going. Say some. Okay, right about here, we have the W sound. So insert the keyframe, go down here, change it. Say some words. Say some words. Say some words. Say some words. To Say some words to my. F Say some words to my face. Say some words to my face. And that would be the last one. And now our mouth is completed. Say some words to my face. Perfect. Now there are different ways you can do this. However, I have found this to be the easiest way. 
you can go about it any way you want. So, um, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, like I said, it isn't hard, it's just tedious. So, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send them my way. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.